Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The boa weevil entered the United States around 1892 near Brownsville, Texas, originally a native of Mexico and Central America. The boa weevil is a tiny insect, one quarter inch long, that burrows into the flower buds and later cotton bowls when tender. Each female deposits over 200 eggs every two to three weeks. The newly hatched weevils feed on the cotton bowls and are capable of traveling 40 to 160 miles per year. The insect first appeared in the Natchez district around 1907 and by the 1920s had infested all cotton growing regions as far north as Virginia. Mississippi State University estimates that since it entered the United States, the boll weevil has cost United States cotton producers almost $13 billion. The weevil infestation de devastated the local mislu economy and contributed to the economic woes of all southern planters and sharecroppers in the 1920s, a situation exacerbated by the Great Depression of the 1930s. Many historians argue that the decline of the cotton-based economy in the South helped fuel the great migration of African Americans to the urban areas of the North. The boll weevil continued to wreak havoc on southern plantations until 2005. Today, Cotton farmers have completed an eradication program, but continue to monitor to keep the boll weevil at bay. Hi, I'm Lynette Tanner. My husband Buddy and I operate and own Fulmore Cotton Plantation and Gins, where visitors can view firsthand a modern and historic working cotton plantation with both steam and computerized cotton gins. This has been your Natchez History Minute.